Hello guys and welcome to the Gentleman Builder, the channel that makes you a thinker in Minecraft. After last week's episode about glazed terracotta, link is down in the description, I was inspired by a certain selection of examples I made. So inspired in fact, that I started a completely new village on the WBC server on this episode's theme. I am talking about farms. And in this episode I am telling and showing you how almost any real life crop can be made in the vanilla minecraft game. To start off with this quest, we need to know what crops are already inside of this game. The familiar food sources like the carrot, potato, pumpkin, melon, wheat, beetroot, sweet berry, cocoa beans and the sugar canes. But also the less familiar ones like the brown and red mushroom, chorus fruit and kelp. All of these are the main farmable foods we craft in Minecraft. And to be fair, I find this roster rather lacking. So here's the idea. On screen you see all of the plants we have in Minecraft. Till 1.16.4 that is. Every sapling, flower or other vegetation you can think of in the game. I have found ways to create an infinite amount of crops for in the game and it's going to include all of this vegetation that is already inside of the game. Spoiler warning, yes, you can plant these individually as crops. Especially the flower fields look amazing, but this is going to look way more epic, so let's go to how we are going to do this. To make this idea work, we first need to know how plants work. This is because plants in Minecraft have a random change in the center all over the Minecraft map. But as redstone flower farms can tell us, the placement is always the same in the height. Which means that we can use world edit to stack certain plants or flowers on top of each other. There are some exceptions on the rule though. These are the saplings, mushrooms, dead and sweet berry bushes, or any type of vine. The grass and the fern do apply to that rule, but have differences in height. These height differences do stay the same as well, on the same block no matter how high the placement can be. So these are the behaviors of the different plants. Now before we get to the designs I have made, I have to learn you the tricks and the behavioral world edit and the debug stick. So let's go to the other perspective. So as I said we changed perspectives and as you can see I've set up some plants over here and I have a debug stick in my hand. And this is going to be rather interesting because as you can see these do change whenever you use the debug stick. The upper part can become the lower part and the other way around. Which can be very, very interesting for food design or for plant design in the server. Or any game for that matter. So on the other hand, uh, this is a small roster that I made. There is a small thing with world edit lately and I don't really know why it is. But as you can see, you can only place things in the air or things on non bugged things with one block between them. It's very frustrating to be honest, but yeah, this is the limitations that we have right now. That does make for something very uh, frustrating uh, because if I have this already I cannot place anything on top of that because it's, uh, it's, it's a crashed, it's a burked block over there which means that if I did that everything would come down. But on the other hand and that is quite the interesting part you can place things on top of any solid block that's, that really is there and with the debug stick like we have seen before we can change this and we can connect certain blocks eventually. So that's something that's really interesting when doing plant designs. The same goes for water. Uh, you still need to have to make the raster, but you 
can place things on top of water or anything that is within water because it, these are stable blocks somehow. It's very weird, but this is the limitations that we have with World Edit and the debug stick right now. So as you guys can see, I've set up a lot of different designs over here and I'm going through them one by one, starting with a pumpkin field. Well, the pumpkin field isn't so special in it on itself, but using the cocoa beans, you can create smaller pumpkins next to the other ones and the gherkins or the sea pickles on top create a very nice looking pumpkin design that most of you guys already know, but it still is very, very interesting. The beanstalks, yes, this one is really interesting. It's just two of the sunflower stems on top of each other and I think it looks rather, rather interesting. The next one is corn and as you can see, I put a small dandelion on top of the same pieces of the sunflower. And as you can see, I still need to use the roster because otherwise this couldn't fit. So that is why. The next one is lettuce or actually sweet berries. By turning off your tick speed, comment over here, you can create these. And it's very, very interesting looking, a uh, very small crop. Uh, most of the people already know this one, but I still thought that it was worth to look at it. The next one is also with the sweet berries, but this time it's a tomato field. So I created with world edit the stage number three, I believe, to create these extreme red plants over here. And I used some strings connected to chickens over here. And the chicken won't, doesn't go down now. Right. <laughs> so with the cords, I created some extra linings for the tomatoes. Next one is celery. Yeah, the acacia saplings. Like I said, you can use certain parts just as their own, but pretend it to be something else. So this is a very interesting design and it looks really much like its original version in real life. Cotton. As you can see, the it's, it's a little bit sad that the things aren't really on top of each other but that's due to the limitations of the ferns but yeah by creating the ferns and placing azure bluets on top of them you create a really really nice cotton plant so this might be very interesting for people who want to create clothing in minecraft the crimson roots yeah the crimson roots uh, i find them very very interesting a lot of people don't really like the update plans from the nether but i really really adore this one because it creates something very very unique and yeah red herbs is something that's very common a lot of different herbs are very common. I find this very, very interesting. And you guys will see in the end something that I did in the actual farm with these things. Next one is melons. Yes, indeed. Uh, I don't like to use heads for these examples because I want everybody to do it with just regular Minecraft stuff. But I just used the zombie heads for the smaller melons and yeah, that's basically it. Just just a seed pickle on top. And that's that's the melon. The next one is the birch sapling, which looks especially a lot like leek. So I find it a rather fun coincidence, so I added it in between. So the next one is the cauliflower. I used ferns again, even though they don't really go into the middle. And as you can see, I used diorite blocks inside of invisible item frames. The link pops up now. This is a command. And yeah, I find this a very interesting design. It, it, it's, it's, it's still a work in progress, but it, it really looks a lot like its original counterpart. The next one is the strawberry bush. And yeah, I used the sweet berry bush for this created us the, the invisible item frame and placed the roses 
inside of it and look at it it just looks like there are small little strawberries on the lower sides of the plants and it looks just amazing and cute and oh my god sorry this this is just one of my favorites the next one is rice yes rice a lot of people already know this one but you can uh, have seeds wheat on top of water and then you can create rice it's not really a big deal anymore but i think it still looks really really neat and it's one that people should use more often and the next one is red peppers and this one is very very interesting as you can see i used the jungle sapling on top of it to create some more leaves on the top of it but somehow and i have no idea why the game allows me to put weeping vines next to the instable blocks. Yeah, I don't know why, but it looks really, really interesting because you can create red peppers or hot peppers and it looks really, really nice. So this is definitely one that I'm going to use very, very soon myself. The next one is going to be mushrooms. Like I said, uh, I've got the weird thing going on that I can only place things in a raster. But I can place buttons because those are stable blocks next to them. Which create really small mushrooms themselves. So this is something that I find very interesting and it actually looks pretty cool. You guys already saw this one in the back and it is grapes and I have the green or the white grapes and the purple or the red grapes and yeah I just use glass paints for these and I personally think that it looks amazing. The These ones are very high, most of them are really low but the pictures that I used have very very high plants and I use the chains to tie them all up between two poles and i think it looks really really neat especially in a very very big yard the next one is actually one of my inspirations it's the apple tree and as you can see guys oh here this is from the glazed terracotta uh, episode and this is just a silly little basket uh, but yeah, let's go back to the apple trees and as you can see these these are the shapes of apple trees I really tended to recreate the shapes of certain trees that, and the certain plants that I saw and I just use little flower pots because like I said I don't want to use heads heads are very very laggy on the surface so I tend to use different things and I think this is a really really neat design and a really nice thing for an apple tree the next one is oranges and as you can see these trees are a lot smaller and they just have a lot of orange buttons the acacia buttons under them and yeah it looks really interesting and like i said it's just a bunch of oranges on a tree now yeah really nice and last but not least, the kiwi. The kiwi is actually some kind of vine plant, uh, which I didn't know at first. And I recreated it with cocoa beans, just the first stage of it. And as you can see, it, it really creates small little kiwis. Yeah, I think it looks really, really cool actually. So, alright guys, uh, I just entered the village on the WBC server. And I am going to my farm, which I finished today. And yeah, look at this. This is just a little, little house garden. With some flowers, of course. The bean, the bean, 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 stick, bean, bean, bean. You know what I mean. And uh, some hanging flower pots over here, which look very interesting in my opinion. Um... And you just really see how certain things just come together with these special tricks within vegetation. It makes it look very, very interesting and way more, yeah, just way more alive with the different kinds of vegetation. Just the red herbs over here, uh, some cauliflower, etc. And just some plant stacks over here behind the greenhouse which is very very interesting in my opinion uh i i really like the design it, it really turned out nice but that's just not the only thing because 
well we can go over here of course close the door and yeah this this is this really is the most interesting part because here you can actually see some of the ideas in massive scale for example the corn the corn design looks amazing over here it's it's so big this this took a really long time this 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 entire field took me so long to create because world edit is a bitch at this moment but oh my god this 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 just looks gorgeous this is the first time that i'm actually watching it in shaders so uh yeah really nice really nice and this is the leak over here or the bird sapling and as you can see it looks really really impressive just the rows of leak going on and going on it's it, it really looks nice it really adds a lot to the scenery i mean you look over here these are the little coleslaw or the lettuce this it's especially on these scales it looks very very interesting um yeah it, this this is this is just perfect this this is why i do what i do you know um creating new designs trying new things just to see it work like this um i'm i'm really happy with how it turned out yeah absolutely absolutely I hope you guys have learned a lot about crop and plant management, but also about some super interesting designs for your world. I dare you guys to come up with more ideas and send them over to my social media on Instagram, which is on my page, or on the Discord server on WBC in which I am at. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed, and please consider to subscribe and hit the like button and so become one of the thinkers.